Hi guys, my name's Neo and I'm from the Panther Products Team channel. Um, recently we've been having a few views on our Photoshop tutorials, so I wanted to make another video to show you another effect in Photoshop, since I know you guys seem to like to learn how to use it. Um, in this video, what we'll be doing is we'll be looking at how to make a reflection in water and to give off a, like a kind of like a puddle effect, if you like. What I've done is took a, a random picture off um, Google, so in this case it's an Alfa Romeo car. Um, what we've done then is we've duplicated, we've, well, we've selected the car first and, and duplicated the layer. So if we unhide that layer, I mean it's only a quick selection, it doesn't have to be neat because it's going to be in the same place. Then what I've done again is then duplicated that selection to make a new layer here which I've then put behind the car layer so that we can move it around. This will be our car reflection. So if I just press that. To make to rotate it, you need to go to Edit, Transform, and then Rotate. A little box should appear and you can rotate your image however you like. It doesn't really matter. And once you've done, click on one of the other buttons and it will come up with a little message box saying, do you want to apply these settings? you want to click Apply? So now we've got our... Um, reflection layer um, what I then did was go to the background layer and also do a cheeky layer for the the pavement this will be like our puddle outline so it looks like this um, once the all three are, are put together this will look pretty awesome then what I've done is we'll, we'll create the rain effect first so we'll go to layer make sure this layer is on the very top go to fill and fill it in black then go to filter and down to noise and add noise and the amount I've put for this is 82.23 percent just ensure that the distribution is set to Gaussian and your monochromatic checkbox is ticked this will be the base of our rain, as I um, showed you in previous videos. Next, we'll want to head to Filter and Blur, then go down to Motion Blur. Um, and I set this to 12 pixels and minus 66 on degree angle. This will give it a pretty cool effect when we go to add the rain. So now we want to head add this to our soft light, and it'll look like our car's been raining. Well, the the whole scene's been rained on. We want to hide this layer for the time being as we want to concentrate on getting the other bits right. So we've got these two layers here, which are our puddle layers. So I'm going to start with the puddle layer first. You want to head up to filter and then go down to distort and glass. Um, this will sort of distort our image to make it look like it's been like a raindrop splash on it. Now for this I've used distortion at 5, smoothness at 6, texture frosted and scaling 113% and I've made sure that the invert box has been ticked. This will give it like a shimmer effect when when you add it with the uh, lane ray we just made. If you click OK it'll not look like much but once that's um, added with this layer it will look pretty awesome. So we do the same again with the car layer. Go to filter down to distort glass and just apply those effects. I mean you can see in this this little preview box what it looks like once it's done. And that'll make our image look like that. Now for these two you want to add these on a light sort of soft light effect. Um, and same with that one and that will look like a, a puddleish outline as it does here now when we add this effect it looks like a puddle and um, you can alter uh, change these settings as you please now I, to, to be fair I think that looked better on normal and just a, a distortion on that so we'll keep that the same or we can probably see what it looks like with, with some of the other options probably darken may be better or multiply. Now multiply looks a bit crap. And um, we could try color burn and then dropping down the opacity a little bit. 
probably to 70%. That looks pretty cool. And then we can just blur out these uh, jagged lines here to make it just look a bit more smoother. And that's pretty much it. There you have it. A nice little uh, rain effect for any of your images that you want to add a ripple or reflection in water. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please like and subscribe to us because every little subscription helps us get our name noticed. Um, registration on our website is free. It's www.pantherproducts.co.uk. It's free to join. Check us out. It's worth a check. We've got all our YouTube videos up on there in one place so you don't have to continually scour YouTube for our videos. Um, we hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be making a few more soon, I hope. Uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.